My name is Dr. Sarah Waring. I work at the University of Liverpool and my research focuses on decision making in critical and major incident contexts. This also includes emergency response to security threats. Saving lives and minimising the impact of large scale incidents that can arise from security threats requires a multi agency response. We've been working with emergency and law enforcement services nationally and internationally for over 15 years. We find that these incidents present many challenges due to factors such as time constraints, accountability pressure, risk, uncertainty, competing or changing goals. Added to this are issues with information, which is either often scarce, incomplete, conflicting, unreliable, or there's just too much to make sense of in a short space of time. Emergency responders must consider how to make sense of information to inform their own agency's actions, as well as when and how to share information with other agencies with different roles and remits. This is essential for developing and maintaining a joint understanding of the incident, of the risks involved, as well as for coordinating actions. However, public inquiries repeatedly highlight issues with information sharing both within and between agencies. Part of our Crest funded project is therefore focused on identifying what facilitates and hinders information sharing. We drew on data collected during a large scale CBRN terrorism training exercise that was conducted across three sites. This included police urgent safety interviews, property search of the suspects who were being interviewed and also a terrorist chemical attack on an underground transport network. Our analysis highlighted delays in important information obtained from suspect interviews being shared with other sites. This affected the ability of emergency responders at the attack site to assess risks and implement actions. Having a common understanding of one another's roles, responsibilities and goals across agencies helped to facilitate information sharing at the incident ground. In the UK, the Home Office funded Joint Emergency Services Interoperability Programme has been promoting the development of shared understanding of one another's roles, particularly in frontline emergency responders since 2012. Our findings highlight the value of this work, but they also show the importance of extending it to those who may traditionally serve investigative or security roles. Our project outputs include an academic publication, conference presentations, practitioner reports and news articles. For further information about our project, please visit the CREST website at www.crestresearch.ac.uk or email me on s.k.waring at liverpool.ac.uk.